Shout out to Zapcon Studios in Johannesburg for supporting content creators with the use of their studio. Find out more about them by emailing hello at zapcast.org or follow them on their social media platforms at zapcast underscore studios on Instagram and TikTok at SA Zapcast on Twitter and Zapcast SA on Facebook. Okay, guys, welcome back to the weekly order. This week, we have our very own Franco Basson on today. Thanks very for joining us. Very excited. Thank you. Thank you for taking some time out of your busy schedule. Our busy schedule. To Obviously, join the boys. I had to come from straight from the mansion, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, dude, it's quite weird. Um, we thought we'd make a bit of a meme of it, um, that I'm the guest on our own show. <laughs> Hope you guys laughed and laughed and laughed. <laughs> that was such a good joke. <laughs> So Frank um, was on the Bachelorette. Yeah. Oh, I am season. currently on he the Bachelorette. He is on bro. Bachelorette. Yeah. South Africa. So we're just going to basically yeah, give you guys the lowdown on how it happened, what happened, and what you can expect going forward. Um, obviously, I can't say a lot. Yeah, we'll kind of focus on what you've seen on the first episode. Yeah, and, and obviously the leading up to, up to it. it yeah. Yeah. Mm. So um, tell us how you managed to get on the show leading up to. Yeah, so basically what happened was I entered for Survivor. Okay. And I think I got quite far in that process. And um, I even had Robin Taylor in my application video, which was quite cool. I don't think many people have done that. And then um, didn't get in, <laughs> which I was shocked about. Um, carried on with my life. Four months later, we did the boxing challenge with um, Rowan Campbell, shout out. And he beat me so good, I went to the physio. <laughs> Dude, when I was sitting in the physio, I get this random phone call and it's this guy from the production company. He's like, listen, we want you for the bachelorette. So I was like, what? He called me, he's like, yeah, we saw your survivor application. We want you for the bachelorette. I was like, okay. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, this is, I was like, send me the email, send me the details. I was like, cool. Um, finished my physiotherapy. I went after that home, told Mike, I told Frey. I was like, listen, what do we think here? <laughs> is, <laughs> is this a good idea or not? <laughs> um, I think we came to the conclusion that I'm single, bro, and you know, might as well just put myself out there and see what happens. I think it was a resounding yes from me. Yes, let's go. I was obviously a bit skeptic. Like I was like, I don't know. Um, I think it's a different type of show that I thought I'd like ever be on, like a dating show. Yeah, Survivor. I mean, it's more of you that's know, what you wanted like, to do. Yeah, so initially. I was like, yeah, like more what I wanted to do. Um. But I've been so useless at finding love, bro, that I was just like, let, let me this see if this works. Also bro. a pretty good idea, yeah. Like, let me do this. Let's see. Yeah. I was like, um, it's got like a 100% success rate, so <laughs> that, that going, you know. Yeah, dude. I usually, oh, I usually just have, I have short romances, bro. That's what I, I've, I've decided to call it now. Short romance, that would be yeah. calling it. Yeah. Okay. It sounds better than like one night stand. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess we're going to find out if this was a short romance or not. Yeah. So, yeah, obviously coming up, bro, we'll see what happens. Um, so, yeah, they called me. I uh, we went for like like auditions and stuff, bro. It looked pretty similar to the studio in a sense where it was like you sat in front of a green screen. They asked you some questions. Um, wanted to find out what you want in a partner, what they want and like what do you look for. Obviously, she had been announced. They wanted to know if you find her attractive. So... It's kind I of said yes, which is obviously a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, then basically after that, they said, cool, we want you, done deal. And then we had a quarantine, which was quite weird. Um, sat in a hotel, quarantined for a week, couldn't do much. Wait, what did your interview entail? The interview, so the first couple were like a Zoom. The, it was like a Zoom. They made me like take my shirt off and stuff, bro, which was quite awkward. I won't lie. That was mm -hmm. very weird, bro. Yeah. It makes sense though. Yeah. Because the they got to see. was that the other person on the other side was just like a guy, like one guy, like mm -hmm. busy doing the interview. I started thinking, is this a scam or something? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think he goes back. You're like, trust me, guys. He he's like, good. <laughs> 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 nice buddy. Yeah. Because his line was even like, he said to me, he's like, listen, all the girls in the office want to see you without your shirt on. So I looked at him. I'm like, let's say his name was Steve or something. Bro. I was like, Steve, you're the only person on the other side of the Zoom. Like, I don't see any other girls. Mm. He was like, no, trust me. All the girls are sitting here in the office somewhere. They want to see it. I was like, okay, this guy just wants to see. Probably in their like cubicles with, down there. I would have honestly just rather been like, just be like, dude, we want to see what you look like without your shirt on. Like, yeah, your, like more straight type? up like that. Yeah. yeah, what's your body type? I would have been like, cool. Like, let's, okay, this is what it is. Yeah. At the moment, it's lockdown. So it's not the best. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Take it all in. Yeah. So, which was crazy. It was lockdown, dude. I wasn't mm. expecting anything like this to happen either. Luckily, I was like training quite a lot in lockdown. I was running a lot and 
trying to stay healthy. Imagine he cut the interview there after you took your unbuttoned your shirt. Like, oh, thanks, oh, thanks for I coming through. Myself. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but obviously, like I've never really been in like terrible shape except for Plate 2016. At one time, he <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget Plate 2016, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't um, recovered from then yet. Yeah, no, <laughs> so. I'll never do that to myself again, bro. <laughs> um, so yeah, wasn't like prepared. Let's put it like that. I wasn't prepared for this to come. We spoke about it for a while. We were like, should we do this? Should we not do this, bro? Like, okay, put your heart on the line and just go for it. Mm. There are, then I went to lockdown. It was shot in Van der Bale, um, like by the vol. And Mike almost gave me COVID, so I almost shut down the whole production right there. Yeah, the battery rate might not have happened <laughs> because of me, bro. <laughs> so you, you were Dude. isolating because you guys had to isolate before mm. uh, you went on the show. So they create a bubble. Mike came out. Positive just and before saw, you. I just before you went in. I got tested in, on yeah. the Sunday. I saw Mike on the Saturday. And I don't know how I didn't get it, to be honest with you. I still think about it. We were in the same car. We were in the same vicinity. Yeah. Like, yeah. It doesn't help that you kiss each other as well. Yeah. That doesn't <laughs> help, bro. <laughs> Fraser, bit of jealousy that was there stupid. From all <laughs> I'm just the third wheel. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, dude. Um, I honestly thought I had it. I started getting like... Um, so yeah, I was uh, I was in quarantine. Mike almost shut down the whole thing. Um, luckily, didn't get it. Yeah, luckily, bro, I didn't get it. So you, you the had virus. to tell, but I honestly, the th guys there, like, listen. So I, 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 I called the producer. I said, listen, um, I was in contact with someone on Saturday. You guys tested me on Sunday. I came out negative on Sunday, but um, I might still, I might, it might be a false negative. So then we went on an even like stricter quarantine lockdown mm. in the hotels. That was hilarious as well, bro, because yeah. he was phoning me, like, every day. He's like, no, Mike, I'm feeling a bit funny. <laughs> so that was the thing. I started, yeah, getting, I started, get, I started getting, like, <laughs> like, a sore throat before I went to bed and stuff. I was like, it's happening. I was like, I've got COVID, bro. <laughs> then they tested me again on the Friday, and then I came out negative, And I was like, oh, amazing. Yeah. Um, you can go ahead. I was like, thank goodness. Um, then the production went on as normal. Then you stay in the hotel room. And then it comes up to the first episode that you guys see. And that we all watched um, last week. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe let's chat about some of the some so of like the entrances. Yeah. Starting with yours, how did you feel? So yeah, so how it works is time. like you sit in the hotel room and they're like you like get dressed, let's say around six o'clock. And then they like keep telling you like it's gonna happen soon, but you don't know when and like you're sitting there and they're like, Cool, like what drinks do you want or whatever? So I ordered myself a glass of wine and I was like, Cool. Cause like the options are like wine or beer or something, bro. So I was like, I'm not a big beer drinker, so I'll take some mm -hmm. wine. Sat there drinking some wine, just waiting, 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 and it ended up being like 10:30 at night. Which so you you were in your hotel room until this until time until 10:30, right? Still basically under quarantine, just dressed in my suit now. I would have to adjust my whole sleep so pattern to still be up. So at that I wanted time. to take a nap. I was quite tired that day, actually, <laughs> as well, bro. So I, but now I've like got fully kitted out, so I yeah. couldn't take a nap. Were you just sitting in like your suit? Yeah, I was just sitting there in my suit. Obviously, I took the like the jacket off the blazer, and I was just sitting there like in my waistcoat, just waiting, normal, just waiting. And you don't know when it's going to happen. You don't know it, a knock comes on your door, and they're like, "Cool, get in the car now." Oh shit! Then you, uh, so, you, so I sit there for like five <laughs> there hours. There we go. Right? Pissed out of your bracket. By <laughs> yeah, and the problem is like my red carpet plan has like memorizing involved. So like I can't get too drunk, otherwise I'm going to forget to say a few things, mm -hmm. and I can't like. Um, I can't get too nervous either, bro. So I'm just like, it's like a slow thing of like sitting like, how long are you gonna wait till you actually get onto the red carpet? Anyway, you eventually get there, there's like a stand. They give you all your like gifts that you asked for or whatever for your plan. They give you my gift. To be, uh, I'll be honest, I'll cut this out if I, if, <laughs> if I'm not, uh, I can't say a lot of things, bro, but if this is wrong, can, uh, someone will shout at me. Um, <laughs> so what happened was, I get there and they only give me my mystery box, but I had a poem planned as well. So they didn't even plan that part for me. So I looked at them, I was like, guys, I need a blank piece of paper because I've memorized the poem. I'm going to make it look like I'm reading the poem to her, but I'm not going to, I'm going to give her the poem. So they didn't even have that piece of paper there, but there's shots as well. So I'm taking tequila shots while they're waiting, trying to like get another piece of paper for me. They get another piece of paper, cool. Get in the car, meet the guy called Aviwe. Now that um, everyone knows him, very cool guy. Sit in the car, we go. He's got a soccer ball. I'm like, what is this guy planning? I'm like, <laughs> what's going on? He's got gloves on and everything. <laughs> sit in the car. He goes before me. I think I sat there for like 10 minutes, bro, just sitting in the car on the other side. I quickly had to like make a switch. Switched over to the other seat. And I'm just sitting there. And I'm like, what the hell have I got myself into, bro? Like <laughs> you literally sit there, dude. And you're like, 
what have I done? Just reflecting like, what have on I everything, done? yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> so you guys don't come on your own <clears throat> in cars? No, so I think it's two per car. At least mine was. I can definitely say my car was two I thought it was, an, it was a nice Rolls Royce. Yeah, dude, I won't mm. lie. It was pretty cool. Like, yeah. while I was sitting in there for 10 minutes, I was, like, looking around, playing with I the buttons. That's pretty cool, yeah. Drinking a lot of water so I don't get dry mouth. And, yeah, dude, so that was crazy. Um, a view where goes, I'm still sitting there by myself. Now I have to do the switch. And then the driver sits there and he goes, okay, go. He's like, okay, it's your turn now. Go. And he just sits there, bro. And you're like, as he says that as well, you're like, your legs go weak, bro. You're like, <laughs> no, I don't want to. <laughs> you're like, you go. <laughs> um, but anyway, so then he's like, go, open the door, close the door. And then they were, like the whole thing is as well, like you have to stand there and like, there's a certain way you have to do the red carpet. So you're trying to remember all of this stuff. Do that. Anyway, go up to her. Say, um, like, my whole thing. And then I also had a poem that I recited to her, like, off memory. And they cut the whole thing out. <laughs> Didn't yeah. put that in, eh? Because we yeah. kind of, well, we got you, like, sort of saying a poem. No, so what I basically said in the, what you saw on Thursday, last week, Thursday's clip, was basically just with, um, that, like, every day is a mystery and that I gave her a mystery box, right? We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. None of us do. I think that's what makes life pretty exciting. If we all knew what was going to happen, life would be boring. Was that not part of the poem? No, that wasn't the poem. <laughs> Dude, the poem, I want to give poem. a shout out to the poet because he's so good, bro. He's, the poem was by Miles Carter and it's called If You Decide to Love Someone. Oh my God, I can't believe they didn't show any of the poem. I thought that was no, you finishing off your poem. No, that was just my like script for the box. Why I'm giving you the box. The box is oh, every day in life is like a mystery. Here's a mystery box. You can't open it yet. So they portrayed it as you just giving a box. Explain what mm. you were going to do with the poem because that was quite cool. So yeah, the plan, the whole plan was I walk up to her, give her the box, right? That's like a... That's for later. Mm -hmm. What I want to do to you right now is show you that like I sort of like being creative and I like creative things. So poetry, you like poetry, I sort of like poetry. I was like, cool. Miles Carter, I love his work. If you decide to love someone. And I've listened to that thing so many times that I can sort of recite it off my head. So I just made sure that I memorized it properly because <laughs> butchering that would have been worse. So I walked up to her, gave her the box in real life. I walked up to her, gave her the box, said the whole thing about like every day's a mystery. Then she like put the box aside. Then I said, okay, I know you like poetry. I want to read you my favorite poem. So then I, I made it look like I was reading this poem off this piece of paper. Okay, so I was like going off and it's like, if you decide to love someone, surrender your heart, remove the guards and relinquish the shields, etc., etc., etc. Then, as I was about to walk off, I wanted to give her the piece of paper so she could see the poem, which wasn't there. I memorized the you whole memorized thing. You memorized it. <laughs> Boom, mic Boom. drop. Boom, mic drop, bro. See you inside. And all it said on the piece of paper was, you look amazing, right? Skip then, straight to the final row yeah, ceremony. If you look at the photo <laughs> from afterwards, there's like a photo of her smiling, looking at the piece of paper. Mm. She obviously then realized like, hey. He memorized, memorized the whole the thing. the whole poem and gave the poem, right? And there's nothing on this piece of paper. So then, anyway, that happened. Nice going, Emily. I also sort of, yeah, I also sort of <laughs> forgot to introduce myself during the thing. So like, Lots of guys did, though. Because so you kept what saying, happened, like, yeah, like, sorry, what's your name? You're thinking about all this other stuff that you forget to yeah. like, I don't know why. So you even say your own name. Yeah. Yeah, and for some reason, I think we all under... The opinion that she might like already know. I think she she you know did. I, so you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, it's a weird feeling. So what happened was like the real order of things was, I gave her the box. I was like, she was like, what's your name? I was like Franco. Then I did the poem. Then afterwards, when I tried to do the mic drop thing, gave her the piece of paper, and I wanted to walk off to like be like, look at that piece of paper. Like it's quite cool that I didn't read the poem. <laughs> and she stops me and she's like, you have cute dimples. Then I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> like, cool. Please look at the piece of paper. Yeah, was it like that poem. awkward? Yeah. Like I was like, <laughs> but just look at the piece of paper because <laughs> if, you, if you don't see the plan inside there, like it's going to fall flat. So I still like sort of awkwardly like walk away. <laughs> then you have to like do this interview thing. Then you walk in. Then that was my red carpet. And that's how I planned it. Okay. Let's speak about some of the others. I think your red carpet might have been one of the most normal ones. Yeah. I, who do you guys think was the worst? The red carpet. Yeah, there, there were a few difficult ones, bro. Um, Dude, I would say between, for me personally, like, watching it back, the, the rap fell a bit flat for me. Yeah. It was like a two-liner. We're on The Bachelorette, you have something that you can't forget. Mm -hmm. Done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I assume they probably yeah. cut a whole bunch of that out as well, though. No, because that, I only didn't heard look like, like that any custom you, bro. I only heard like it three lines. It didn't look like it. Yeah. They should have, though, because wow we <laughs> <laughs> wow we Cringe. That's <laughs> hilarious, bro. Um, yeah, dude, and... The, the, the 10 yeah. on the jacket. 10, ten mm. was just flicking his hair too much for me, bro. Like, cool, you have long hair. Yeah. So I play with it the whole time. His, bro. like, actual sort of, like, red, red carpet. carpet thing, red carpet thing yeah. wasn't, like, the cringiest. Yeah. But, like, I don't know if people are going to understand. 
him I'm as a person. I'm picturing how he did it though, remember, because he had to get out the car, turn around first thing before she even saw him and do the whole like 10 thing. She got the whole... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. on the back of his jacket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, that was anyway, also cringe. That Peter's was, was pretty good, bro, the whole link to the that high was school. Good. That was a clever play. That was good. Yeah. Justin's was pretty good. Justin's pretty smooth. Um, I like Dylan on, on, his, uh, on his bicycle. Dylan's that was also quite cool. Yeah, Dylan is a funny yeah, guy. Yeah, he seems like a character that way. Yeah. So I feel Half like his, American as well. Yeah, I feel like his also was pretty good, bro. Um, I was just told him, like, cheers at the end, bro. He's like, cheers, and he walks off. I'm like, <laughs> that's so nonchalant. Was bro. Dustin with it, the painting? Yeah. He should have taken your painting, Frey, from, <laughs> yeah, yeah, from, from, from our, our, our challenge. I sold my painting. Oh, yeah. 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 If you guys haven't watched the art challenge, go and watch that, bro. I think we got a couple of thousand for that one, if I'm not mistaken. Two, three grand. No, I think it was 50 rand. <laughs> it was a strong 50 there. <laughs> I thought you were always talking about views. But, but it was, was better than us, The though. views were almost that good. Yeah. Bro. Um, but yeah. Um, There's also the the bracelet. The, the yoga bracelet, dude. Keelan, yeah. Keelan with his yoga mm. stuff, bro. Who uh, was it? Swazi put the... the that, um, Swazi, Swazi was pretty smooth. So is she from yeah. Swaziland as well? Yeah, she stayed in Swaziland for a stint. Okay. That was um, quite good, bro. Yeah. That was quite good. It's good always getting a connection, bro, which I think is clever. Mm. Obviously, I have no connection to her, so I was like, let me yeah. connect on something we both like. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. And then let's leave and it out of the post production. <laughs> 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 yeah. Look, um, I obviously trust Mnet and what they're doing, bro. So let's see how they edit everything. Um, so yeah, and then obviously you go into the night, bro, which is quite like. Looks like your Oaks went straight into just dops from there. Dude, I yeah. honestly did. So Someone like, smashed like a double gin just without. Yeah. So any no, no, so, so when we walked in there. The gents that were already in there started like a little tradition of like, as soon as the next guy walks in, he has to have a shot. But okay. we didn't have like proper shot glasses. So we all had shots of gin. And like, I think there was, a, uh, like we didn't have proper shots, like tequila or um, I was wondering like Jagermeister or something. Dude was downing gin. Mm. So it was like gin. We only had that stuff. That only what they provided. So yeah, so I walked in. They were like, cool, you're having a shot. I was like, please. I was like, yo, oh, this is yeah. hectic. I just, Say it's all the that nerves. was hectic, bro. I was mm. like, I saw that. I was like, I'll drink anything. So I went quite hard the first night, bro. I won't even lie. I started drinking. I was like, <laughs> you live like... Let's you just have a time, yeah. Young, die young, bro. <laughs> just going, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then, yeah, dude, I, I met a couple of the guys, um, which was quite cool. Mm -hmm. First impressions of the of the gents? First impressions, bro, to be like 100% dead honest, bro. I was like, it just looks like a normal situation. Like, I was pretty taken aback at how normal it looked to me. You know what I'm saying? Like... I don't know how to explain that, bro, but like I went to the bar, it was just a couple of gents having drinks and everyone was quite vibey. No one's like pissing anyone off yet. So just go there, everyone's being nice, like cool. Like when I walked in there, they didn't show it. Oh, it's time to cut a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, I walked in, I had, like they were all like, like Swazi was like, hey, and whatever, bro. And then I started like shouting and drinking with them, which I was like, okay, cool. Like this, yeah, is, this is cool. I was like, yeah. I can do this, bro. Which obviously like gets your nerves a bit down, bro. Yeah. Um, then yeah, dude. Then I feel like Justin killed it, bro. When he took her aside and he had that like second, he had the poem as well. That uh, he, he was the first to take her. Eh? He yeah, was like, "Cool, I'm gonna take her, you first. Which I obviously like. I don't want to be the first or the last guy, bro. So mm, somewhere in the middle. Yeah, go somewhere in the middle is always good, bro. But um, he obviously pulled her aside, and then I feel like him having a second act to his red carpet was mm. clever, bro. I think that was very good, dude. Because mm. on uh, the red carpet, he's, he, yeah. he said, come see me inside or something. Yeah, like a lot that. of folks actually did that, like a second act to their mm. red carpet. But if you think about it, Vuyani also took another photo with her outside and said, like, it was our first memory of us sitting at the thing. Yeah, it's so it seems like the boys, uh, some of them planned Brilliant. it out. And like, yeah. when you're there, you don't see their conversations, right? Mm. They go off and they're in the distance, bro. So yeah. they're like, cool, I wonder how their chat's going, bro. Um, and then now when I watch it back, I'm like, yo, they came, they came with game. They came bro. pretty prepared, yeah. Like, oh, they got game, bro. Oh, you know who's my favorite? Is all Franco, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> After Franco, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allowed to objectively have my favorite yeah. as well. Yeah. I support you. Yeah. But my favorite um, was probably definitely old Johan Snow. He was. Yeah. <laughs> Ruan <laughs> is funny, my, bro. He was funny, bro. That yeah. He looked yeah. slaughtered by the end of the night. Yeah, dude. So another thing, bro, that I want to address is the height. Okay. <laughs> dude. I'm by no means a tall person. I'm 176, which is average height for, for a male, bro. Google mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can Google that stuff. <laughs> but mm. she's 18 naturally without heels. Because like, there's a lot of memes on Twitter and stuff, bro, saying like, why are all these guys so short? So and short, stuff? yeah. She's, she's just tall. She's 18 without heels, okay? And heels give girls on average about seven centimeters. Bro, I Googled that as well. Yeah. 
I'm not struggling with this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, tall, though. That's dude, tall, dude. If if we give her, like I said, four centimeters, that takes her to like like one eight four, which is like six two. Mm. Le- like that's my height. Six sorry. two, six, six three. three. Yeah. That's that's crazy tall, yeah, that's bro. Tall. Like anyone above six foot is tall, dude. That's really tall. Mm. So she is a tall person. Bro. You'll see on like group dates and stuff. I think it'll obviously look a bit better when she's not wearing. When she's in the flat, yeah. Yeah, but mate, with heels on. <laughs> <laughs> Did they not give you anything to help you out, height-wise? No, so you can, there's stuff that you can put in your shoes, yeah. So I had like a little layer, like this big, bro, of something in my shoes. Just for a little boost. Yeah, for a little boost, bro. But that doesn't help that much, bro. You can clearly see it on TV as well, mm. bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, 176 is really not bad, bro. I'm taller than most girls that I know. Think about all our girlfriends, bro. Yeah, Except yeah, my yeah. brother's girlfriend. She's big, bro. Jay's also tall, yeah. <laughs> um, you don't have to convince us. You're a tall boy. <laughs> average height, don't no, average, average height, bro. <laughs> You've got I a like few to, more years of growing. I, I like to like scale my guy, myself up, bro. So if I see someone taller than me, I'm like, cool, they consider tall. If I see someone taller than me, I'm like, cool, they consider short. That's perfect, bro. That is how it works, bro. <laughs> yeah. Simple way of putting it, I guess. Yeah. Here we go. So no, no, just literally, just because like all these people, because that's why even the tall guys don't look that tall. That's what I'm saying. Yes, yeah. Everyone gets undone here. Mm. The short guys look even shorter, and the tall guys don't look as tall as they are. Um, which is quite funny, bro. But it's, I've seen a lot of comments about the heart, bro, which is quite funny. Mm, mm. Um, and then, yeah, dude, anything you guys want to add so yeah. far? Yeah. Well, we also saw at the end of the episode there was a another car that pulled up. Yeah. Is so now, you know, we'll see what dude, we'll see could, what that's and about. Got my like shocked face there. Did you guys see that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like, my, I didn't even know they were like getting that Not shot, more. dude. I'm just like they're like, like obviously I like go to the door and everyone's like, okay, what's coming? I'm just standing there, bro. I look so dazed and confused, bro. But anyway, I was probably pissed by that time as well. Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking, You guys, you put yeah. makeup on and stuff for the camera. How was so that? We put like, um, you put like a cream on and then you put like a little dab of like, I don't know, powder. Like not like a hectic makeup, which is like a it's powder. Like base. Is this every day? No, no, it's not base. Not base. Base is like a cream. This is like a powder. And you put it on every time, every time you go before. On every single day, the boys sit there together and Dude, put their makeup literally, on. Literally, it's so <laughs> weird, bro. And because of COVID and stuff. You do it yourself. Yeah, they usually have like makeup artists and even a bartender that like caters for you there and stuff, dude. Um, what about haircuts? Um, so a lady would come in and cut your hair. And she would. It's, it's, the it's ten get funny, a haircut. Dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> you like, who the hell is this like for sure there now? <laughs> um, but um, yeah, the makeup was quite funny, bro. Cause like, you have to sit there. We don't even know what we're doing. Did like, you get like mm. someone's approval before you went out there? So like, yeah, if the you makeup got big lady would, There was one makeup lady that would like look at you and if you really messed up, she'll be like, let's fix this, bro. Uh, okay. And then she'll come and like dab you properly. Like, blush the, like the skin. Okay. Yeah. So it's like, not a whole lot just, Yeah, they said just to make yourself not look like you're shiny on camera. Cause if you are sweating, it's a bit, it's a bit hot. You're wearing a full suit, bro. You mm. could be sweating a bit. That sort of makes it look like you're not makes sweating. Makes it away. So that you, it doesn't look like you're nervous. Okay. You come across nervous, apparently, if you're sweating. I don't know. Um, also, sweat in general just doesn't. <laughs> doesn't look good. <laughs> just doesn't yeah. look good, bro. A whole bunch of sweaty oaks. <laughs> yeah, so, like, the, the makeup was interesting, bro. Um, it was, like, a lot house to adjust to, bro. The, the house was mad, bro. Mm. Uh, very, very cool. Yeah, so, like, obviously, um, bunking. I stayed in a room with me, Swazi, Keelan, and Aviwe. And we went on his room four, which was quite cool, bro. Um, Keelan obviously was the guy who's at the end is like, is that a girl on like the cliffhanger? Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. can't speak about that because obviously Mnet will kill me if I release something <laughs> before the episode comes <laughs> out. Yeah, we've done a disclaimer. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're a guest you on our show. Phrases, disclaimer. So good. Please so go you can to sue Instagram. Franco in his private capacity. Yeah. <laughs> go to our Instagram and check Fraser's disclaimer. It's the best thing I've seen in my life. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> a bit of a but laugh. yeah, there's a cliffhanger. Obviously, there's a Hummer that pulled up, and what comes out that Hummer, I can't mm. say. Yeah, is You're it just gonna have to watch more dudes? More dudes? Is it a girl? Is it a girl? You maybe guys are gonna have to see, bro. Maybe all we'll the see. tall guys are in the Hummer. No. <laughs> 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 that was good. Also, just a disclaimer: if you do see a bunch of cuts in this video, it's because I have said something that I'm not allowed to yeah. in post-production. I've it's had to take that. It's quite difficult to jump it's very around. Difficult, yeah. Bro. Mm. Um, and there's no set like criteria what you can't say and what you can obviously there's obvious things you can't yeah. say but sometimes it's like well, borderline there, so there were a lot of examples in the contract as well if you think about it yeah fair <laughs> enough it was extensive, <laughs> it was extensive <laughs> um, but yeah it is, it's been quite it's been something quite difficult to like keep quiet about keep or quiet yeah. about so also interestingly enough this all happened in October October what did, yeah. what did you yeah. what did you 
tell everyone? So yeah, I told everyone that it's quite my important friends, to say. Yeah. I think it was quite funny. So I told all my friends that I went to Bloemfontein for work, bro, because we couldn't say Cape Town because my friends in Cape Town would have been like, "Why aren't you making plans with us?" Yeah. And like my it friends here would have been like, "Why didn't you make plans with him when you were there?" Or, you know, we've got good friends down there. And I couldn't say like Durban. Maybe someone would have been like in Durban or something weird. Yeah, it had to be somewhere where no. It had one, to be somewhere no where none there. of our friends yeah. were. So I went with Bloemfontein, bro, and our friends. It up, dude. They I love like how no one second guessed Franco is doing business in Bloemfontein <laughs> for a no, certain period fair, of time. To be yeah. fair, beforehand, I'd done business in Bloom as well. Yeah. And, and I'd be like, yo, guys, I'm industry, going to Bloom. Bro, yeah. What are they, yeah. short on farmers in the long <laughs> moment or something? So, yeah, that was quite funny, bro. That's sort of where we got the idea from as well. Just yeah. in the Bloom CBD there. Yeah. <laughs> in the high rise building. The Mystic Bull or whatever. The Mystic right? Bull, yeah. <laughs> so, dude, yeah, that was quite funny. And then. I actually kept it quiet for a long time, bro. Most people, my friends and family that didn't know, um, which were a lot, bro, I kept it a secret really well. Mm. Only found out in December on my birthday. Well, after my birthday, and I told a couple of people that were close to me. I was like, listen, I wasn't in Bloemfontein. <laughs> 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 I was like, but yeah, I was, I was on this show called The Bachelorette. Um, obviously, the girls were super stoked. The guys, guys were always like, what the hell were you doing there, bro? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, dude, it was just a very, very interesting experience. Um, can't say much, obviously, bro. So as the week weeks go on, we're gonna actually start doing like a fifteen minute segment where we just recap on the episodes. Yeah. For you guys, give us our mm-hmm. views. Someone that was on the show and someone, two oaks that weren't and are just watching it, bro, experiencing it like a normal viewer. Mm. Um, so we'll give you guys a bit of a recap and then obviously carry on with the normal podcast after that, bro. Um, so we've got a lot of good content lined up. Um, we'll probably also try get a couple of the Batchy Boys on, bro. Yeah, um, we'll yeah. get a few episodes in. And then yeah, once we're allowed to, I'll see what we can and can't do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we'll take as it comes, but... Yeah, obviously, I hope everyone is listening to this part of Team Franco, bro. Team Franco. We've got some cool people part of Team Franco and so far, dude. Team yeah, John, we do. Team yeah, John Snow is over this side. Come join me. Team no, John Snow. can't yeah? be John Snow. Backing John Snow. <laughs> you can't. You've got to back me, Fred. <laughs> Jan Snow. Uh, I'm backing Jan, him. Jan <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah... Um, very interesting experience, bro. I hope you guys enjoy and see. Yeah, I'm how keen to see how out. all this unfolds. Yeah. yeah. So we'll it's be watching. Quite exhilarating. Because also mm. there's a difference between what you did and how they cut and edit and make it look. Yeah, which I can't comment on, but it is true. There, um, there might be different. There's that element so of the unknown as well. Yeah, dude. Mm. Which is um, obviously like it's my first time doing anything like this, bro. So you get quite nervous as well as to like how they're going to portray you and stuff. Um, but at the so end far, of the day, so good. So far, so good. Yeah. Um, look One like episode gives away yeah. boxes. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but um, yeah, dude. Um, I just I was literally myself, dude. When I was on there, I was like, just be yourself and see if you have a connection. No game school. plan, nothing. Just yeah. like, just do. I you. didn't watch any previous seasons of The Bachelor going on. I didn't do any research on her. I really didn't. Um, a lot of Oaks were jacked in there, dude. They were like, I know this about her already. I know that about her already. And I wanted to come out in like a natural conversation. Like, mm-hmm. what do you like? No, I think and it's better that way. Because really if you go in knowing all this stuff, like what's there to talk yeah, about then? Like um, I already know this I about you. I understand that you can try to use it as like a play. Like if you know like that she likes champagne or whatever, you can bring the champagne because you know mm. it's a play of a drink. Mm. But I wasn't, I wanted to find out things. I love spontaneity, bro. I love just living in the moment. And yeah. Um, you know, it was also very natural. Jon Snow. Jon <laughs> Snow. <laughs> <laughs> what's his actual okay. name, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I know it. No, man, Ruan. Yes. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Catch me on the spot there. Yeah, maybe we'll bring Fraser's Crush John Snow on <laughs> the podcast. But yeah, for those who actually care about me, you guys can <laughs> obviously tune in every Thursday. Watch it go down, bro. It's quite interesting. Um, but from excited. there, for, that's us for today. Um, mm. Yeah, just quick. Quick how I got on, yeah. what yeah. happened, because we found it quite interesting. We thought you guys might. Um, but obviously... Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, yeah. If, if you're watching our videos, please subscribe. <laughs> I mean, the like the like ratio to subscribe ratio is something. Mm. Come here and watch it, and don't like, and then leave. <laughs> well, I got that wrong. Yeah, just subscribe. Anyways, so, yeah. you heard it from Daddy Frey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Much love. Thanks, kid. Shout out to Zapcon Studios in Johannesburg for supporting content creators with the use of their studio. Find out more about them by emailing hello at zapcast.org or follow them on their social media platforms at zapcast underscore studios on Instagram and TikTok at SA Zapcast on Twitter and Zapcast SA on Facebook.